Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a three looks, one palette using the stunning Melt Smoke Sessions palette. I'm so excited. I've already done my first impressions which is already up on my channel if you want to see it. I'll have it up there or down there wherever I decide to put it. It's in one of the spots and I have swatches and everything of that up already in that video and my initial thoughts and me using the palette for the first time but now we're going to get into the creative side we're going to get into the nitty gritty we're going to get in and use this palette to its potential of three looks that I can get out of it in one video so this is how the palette looks it's a grunge green dream if you like greens or you want to step your toes into green this is the perfect palette because you have two different tones of greens you've got your more khaki olivey greens with a little bit of gold and then you've got your more emeraldy foresty kind of greens with a little bit of a bluey tone to them it's stunning my only gripe and i said it in my first impressions and i'll say it in the video the two matte shades there's only two i would like two more mattes if i could get them so like one for this side of the palette and then one for this side of the palette that's more mid-tone not as deep and something to help me blend but will i just say they do blend quite well, especially this dark khaki shade blended like nothing on my eyes today. So I'm so excited for this. I cannot wait to get into these three looks and do, I'm doing this halo eye. I'll have a two-toned eye up. And then the last one is a surprise. You have to wait till the end to see that one. So if you want to see any up close pictures of this look, my Instagram is linked down below. I always do full face pictures and up close eye pictures of all my looks sometime after the video goes live. I don't know when, I don't know when anything is going up anymore. So we're just going with it because I'm back in work now. And yeah, we're just, we're just filming and putting them up as I get them ready. So that's how I'm working with this right now. So I will have pictures of that up on my Instagram. You can go follow that below and you'll see all the lovely details and all the makeup details. Also hit subscribe down below to see many more videos coming up. I have many more three looks on palettes, two looks on palettes, first impressions. I have a colour series happening as well. I also have me showing off my collection going on as well. I do tag videos, I do really random videos, ranking videos, everything like that. So hit subscribe down below to see all of that fun stuff. And yeah, I think that is everything for the beginning of this video. So let's get in to look number one. Okay guys, so let's get into look number one using the Smoke Sessions palette. I have many looks planned out for this. So the first one we're gonna do is a halo eye because I always like to do a halo eye. And I'm gonna ma mainly use like these two here. These are gonna be like my main two colors. And I might use Blue Dream then to really make the halo eye pop. But my mash shade is gonna be obviously the Sour Diesel and Black Widow is gonna be like the shimmer on the outer corners. And then Blue Dream will be the very center to highlight and also maybe my inner corner as well. So. I don't know how that's gonna look. It might look very weird, but you know, it's my channel. That's kind of the vibe we usually go for here. All my skin, brows, and eyeshadow primer is all, and my bronzer as well, is actually on already, which I'll let you know what that is later, but it's listed down below if you wanna see exactly what I used. And let's start. So we're gonna start with Sour Diesel, the matte shade here. Um, on the inner and outer corner. I'm gonna take that on a 221 brush from MAC. I'm very excited to use this color, more excited than I am about any other color, I think. <laughs> so we're gonna start with that on the outer corner. Oh, that's deep and I love it. So just really slowly, like I said before, I think I said it in my first impressions, you wanna go slowly with Melt's formula. And I also said in my first impressions, I would prefer a transition shade in this, some sort of a, even like a taupey kind of color or like a gray that has a bit of a greeny hint off it, something like that. Just to help these colors blend out a little bit just because i'm so fair but obviously if you've got deeper skins you might not have as much of an issue this is just an issue that i have when i have really dark shades and especially with melts formula they just take a bit longer to blend so just popping that all on that outer corner i'm not going to bring it into the very center of the crease at all just yet i might in a while but not yet so then we're going to go in to the inner corner have to say with these deep matte shades i haven't been getting any fallout from them I thought I would. I've been getting follow from the shimmers, but not from these, which is impressive. I'm very happy with that, especially because I wanted to always try and do my base first if I can, or at least have my foundation on and like my brows on first. Let's so just leave a nice big gap in the center because we do have two shimmers to apply there. Don't worry about blending just yet. Yeah, I just want to get my shape going. Then to blend, I'm gonna go in with the clean brush here. I'm gonna take a number five from BH Cosmetics, the Lavender Luxe brush set. We're just gonna take it clean as it is and we're just gonna start blending out all the edges. And you could blend with the other brush if you don't have, say, as many brushes or you don't have a clean one on hand. 
it's just that you'll spread color a little bit more because there's already product on that brush but with a, me using a clean brush I'm not spreading any more color around I'm just blending out what's already on my eye and you can go back and forth add some of the color back in as you're blending and then keep blending it which is what I usually do I usually go in blend add some more in blend again add some more in blend again until I'm happy with my blend and then just with that clean brush I'm just going in and just blending between the two in the center here again I might add a little bit more of that shade but just to get the idea that they're connected but they're not fully connected okay so I'm already in love with this color like this is a good color I like it so I want to work with all the matte so far and then we'll do all the shimmers together so I'm going to take Sarah Diesel again same shade and I'm going to take that on 214 from MAC my small little stubby flat brush that I adore and love using for my lower lash line and we're just going to run that really close to the lashes and I think I'm going to smoke the whole lash line will I? I think I will then I'm going in with the clean brush this is a 219S from MAC it's just a small little um, pencil brush but it's probably the biggest pencil brush that I own so I want to use this to smudge out and we're just going to go in with it clean there's nothing on it it's stained a little bit green but like there's no actual product on it and we're just gonna buff that out and you can always add more like we did before so blend it out add a bit more blend it out until you're happy i have to say though this dark matte blends out easier than the other dark matte that's in the palette i don't know why it just did it may just be the tone of it because the other one is quite a lot of blue green where this one's more of a brown green and the brown will help blend into the skin a little bit easier maybe that's the reason but it did blend out a lot easier i'm going in with my 221 the one that i used to apply the shade at the very beginning because that'll help also smoke at the bottom as well and also keep applying the product as we go okay so now to kick off the shimmers we're going to go into the Too Faced glitter insurance and i'm just going to take that on my finger because why not and i'm going to just press that i'm going to do one eye at a time just because i'm also doing tiktok so i usually film a tiktok of the tutorials as well so i like to do one eye at a time especially if i'm using the glitter primer just to so have enough time for it to be sticky i overlap a little bit with that um deep matte but nothing too fussy so then we're going to go in to black widow which from swatching it um a couple of times it feels grittier than let's say these two here this feels a bit chunkier this feels a bit grittier this one's very smooth and this one's quite smooth so the shimmers are a little bit different but not bad but we're, well i'm gonna find out if it's bad or not but so far they haven't been bad it just it's definitely more hard pressed in the pan we're just gonna press that on either side oh it's pretty though it is pretty press that on either side of the matte shade oh yeah it's so pretty it's so sparkly and just make sure you're getting it nice and even so i'm only taking a little bit at a time because i don't want too much follow and this is the kind of texture that i would normally get follow from although i'm not really getting any so and then same on this side just getting it up against that dark matte and i am overlapping them as i'm applying it as well because once i go in and blend the deeper shade back in they will just blend into each other so then i just took my 221 with the deepest shade on it again and i just literally stamped over where they meet and they just kind of naturally go into each other because the tone of the two greens is the same anyway so it helped then just for the very center of the eye i'm going to take blue dream which is that super light blue shade or bluey green kind of color i'm taking that on a little synthetic brush that i have from sleek and we're just going to pop that over the middle part of the eye. This doesn't pick up well on the brush, so I may go with my finger. It's so weird with this shade. Sometimes it picks up a lot on the brush and sometimes it picks up nothing on the brush. So nothing here, but I nearly took a whole chunk out of the actual pan. So just be careful when you're using that shade. It's a really pretty color though. And the actual texture when it's on the eye is beautiful. All I'm doing is I'm slightly overlapping that with the more khaki shimmer. Then take the brush that I used with the khaki shimmer and we're just going to pop that on again and just overlap that with the lighter shade again so you're literally just constantly going back and forward until you have a nice blend but they are blending really well it's like real murky ocean kind of colors with that little flash of blue then just taking my not so clean anymore but the cleaner brush that i'm using and just blend through the center here just to make sure there's no harsh lines okay guys so i'm pretty much done but i don't know what i want to do for my inner corner do i want to do my face highlight which i'll put on as i'm putting on my face highlight 
or do I want to do the blue dream but I think the blue dream might just be a bit much and I know that's weird coming from me but it might just be a little bit much in here against all the deep that we have going on I don't know what I want to do I'm gonna go off I'm gonna finish off my eyes and I'll let you know what I do I'm gonna do my cheeks lips and all that kind of stuff and then I'll let you know what I use when I come back and what I decided to do because I don't know yet Alrighty guys, so this is how I have finished off my look. I love how this turned out. I love the lip I chose for this as well. It's one of my favourite lips. So I'm going to quickly go through everything that I used on my face. So starting with the eyes, I didn't do any upper lash line liner because one, I didn't feel like it and two, I always prefer my halos without it. Well, not always, but you know, most of the time I do, it adds just more to the effect. So instead, I just went in with my waterline. This is the Urban K 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Demolition. It's just a really, really deep, cool toned brown. So I just popped that on my waterline. And then I went in with my Clinique Lash Power Mascara. As I said before, it is on its last legs. I may have another like day or two out of it. I think that's all I'll get out of it. And then for my lashes, I went with the Cash Beauty Crystal Night Luxury Faux Mink Lashes. It's a whole set that I got on Beauty Bay. And I used After Dark, which are really nice and kind of longer in the middle, a little bit like in clusters but very feather on the end i'm really liking those then onto cheeks i already had my bronzer on at the beginning so i used my larizzi bronzer stick or contour stick in the shade aloha i love this it's such a beautiful i always do a quite dramatic and then once i set it with powder it goes a little bit softer so it's very nice it's one of my favorite contours and then my blush this is actually a new one and i i i like this <laughs> this is the mac extra dimension blush in the shade room to bloom it came out with the black cherry collection it's really really pretty like cherry blossom kind of packaging but oh my god it's so nice it's like a shimmer and like the normal extra dimensions because i do have another one from the same collection that is more of a satin finish but this is more of a shimmer and oh my god is this beautiful i'm gonna be using this so much and then oh yeah also on my inner corner i did go with my face highlight which i think i'm i kind of prefer the look of i think the other blue would have made it really color heavy where i'm really liking the smokiness of it all and the little pop of color on the lid so i went in with my face highlight which is this guy and it is the wet and wild mega glow highlighter in the shade blossom glow and i love it it's got a pink sheen off it. it's beautiful then for lips i was super simple with the lip i went to my own product and it is the mac retro matte liquid lipstick in the shade cafe oh chic a beautiful grungy gray brown taupey nudie grazy kind of color i've been really into liquid lips recently like because they're just so easy and simple and i just i just love it so that is my lip okay guys so that is look number uno for the smoke sessions palette from i keep trying to say mac but it's melt it's melt it's melt and i'm really really liking it i am gonna have a two-toned look coming up next which i think kind of just makes sense for this palette to me it's like instant for me so that's gonna be fun so let's see how look number two turns out okay guys so we are gonna do a two-toned look for look number two and i just to me this palette just calls for a two-toned look i've got a dark matte for my khaki side and a dark matte for my more emerald side and shimmers just to do so and i'm gonna have an inner corner so the two ends are gonna be my inner corner highlights i'm gonna do the two shimmers two mid-tone shimmers on the lid nothing fancy no cut crease no nothing like that we're just gonna do a two-toned standard smoky eye with lots of shimmers and i'm excited my skin is done my eyeshadow primer is done and my brows are done it's all listed down below i have a lot of brushes <laughs> for this look i don't think i necessarily need them all but i've got brushes for specifically my khaki side and specifically the emerald side but let's get into it so this might be a little bit longer than other looks because i'm going to be doing both sides at once but i'm going to start with the khaki side we're going to go into sour diesel and this is actually the brush I, brush I used in look number one which i only filmed yesterday so i'm just going to use it so i'm not dirtying another brush so i'm going to take that shade and this is going to be our khaki side and this is going to be our emerald side so just pop that on the outer corner and i had such a good time blending this in my first look that i'm excited and i have actually used a different primer for my eyes so in my first impressions i think i used my mac 24 hour eye base in the first look so that was with the, the deep emeraldy matte shade that i used in the crease and i wouldn't say i had a hard time blending it but it didn't blend out as easy as this one did yesterday but this for this color yesterday i used my Too faced shadow insurance so i decided to use my Too faced shadow insurance again for one it'll help this blend out nicely for me 
and also to see if it was the eyeshadow primer that made it more difficult to blend. Just want to just want to eliminate that option. So I'm just building this color up and through the crease. And then I have my clean big blending brush just to go around and buff that all out. And I've kind of brought it into a little point, so I am winging out a little bit. I mean, it might get more winged out as I blend, but just winging it out a little bit. And as I've said before, you can always reapply the shade and then blend some more just to get your gradient lovely okay so just while i'm using that same color i'm going to do my lower lash line i'm going to apply that using a 214 from mac just stamp that across i'm gonna go um maybe about halfway and in the way i'm doing this actually means i'm gonna use every single color in this palette as well so i get a good feel for all of the colors then i'm gonna go in with a little pencil brush this is also the one i used in the first look and i'm gonna just I just took a dab of that same sh shade and we're just going to go in and blend out that lower lash line. Just give it a nice smoke out. As I said, this look is not super complicated. It's not a super extravagant look. It's just the fact that it's going to be two different tones of green makes it look really dramatic. Okay, so now we're going to jump over to the other eye and we're going to do exactly the same, but with the other darker shade. So we're going to take Space Queen, which is that more emeraldy sort of tone. And we're going to take that on a... So this is a BH Cosmetics Lavender Luxe number 6 brush. It's just a small skinny... It's actually like a 221 from MAC, but just their their version of it. So I'm going to take some of that shade. I'm not going to go into too much detail for both sides because it's the same step. I'm just using a different shade. So then again, once I have my colour on and in the general shape, trying to get them as close as I can together. So I'm going to take a Spectrum B07 brush, a big fluffy blending brush, clean, no product on it like before, and just go around and start softening out all your edges. How pretty is that colour? Oh, I love that kind of bluey tinge that comes off that green. So then taking the same shade again, Space Queen, I'm going to go in with a 231 brush from MAC, which is like a little, I think it's a lip brush. I always say it, I'm pretty sure it's a lip brush, small little brush. And we're just going to run that along the lower lash line. So just halfway across, just to mimic the other side and also connecting your outer corner, like always. Then I have this other BH Cosmetics Rose Gold number 10 brush, which is their little stubby pencil brush, their version of it. It's a little bit smaller than the one from MAC, so I may pull out my other MAC one, I'll see, but this should be fine. And we're just going to go in and blend that out. Okay, so jump back to this side here. We're gonna go in to the Too Faced Glitter Insurance. And I'm just gonna use my finger for it because I just haven't been needing to use a brush in the last look I did. The first impressions I did only because that was a cut crease, but with this, it's fine. Just going in and pressing that all over the rest of the lid where we've no color. If it overlaps the other greens, that's absolutely fine. Just don't get it everywhere only where you want most of the shine to be. So then we're gonna go in to Black Widow, which is this deeper shimmer. It's like a khaki kind of shimmer. And that's gonna go on the center of the lid. It's such a pretty color though. I used it in the first look and it's so pretty. So then just leaving a little inner third alone. And I'm gonna go in to Granddaddy, which I used, I think in my first impressions. And we're gonna take that, which is more of an antique gold like a green gold, a dirty gold. And this is like, doesn't have a name, this brush. It's just, just whatever kind of flat brush you have on hand. Cause this is more of a foiled metallic. It's like a real smooth metallic. Just go in with a little bit of that and go around all your shimmers just to make sure there's a nice blend between them. The whole way across, even in here. I don't want there to be any harshness. Okay, and I'm gonna just finish this eye off really quickly. So I'm gonna go in to my glitter primer again, and I'm gonna take, what will I take? Will I take the dark shimmer? I think I will. I'm gonna take a little bit of the glitter primer on my baby finger, a tiny, weeny little dab, half of what I would normally use. And we're just gonna press that on this inner part in here. And I'm gonna take Black Widow, which is the more khaki shade of the shimmers. And we're just gonna press that in here then we're going back to this eye our more teal eye so then i'm going to go in to mean green which is this beautiful foresty green one of my favorite shades in the palette so far i'm taking that on a mac 248 brush just something to also flat again your finger would work for this because we're not trying to be super precise with this and same placement this is just going to go on 
the center of the eye. Oh, it's such a good. Do you know what it is? It's it's a Slytherin green, and as a Slytherin, it sings to me. And then finally getting to use this one, I'm going to use Sweet Tooth, which I've been dying to wear. It's such a beautiful teal green, so pretty. Also taking this on a flat brush. This picks up so easy on the brush without being like chunky or like taking lumps out of the eyeshadow. That just picked up so easy. I'm gonna pop that on that inner part in here. Oh my God. And again, an effortless blend because the tones are so similar. They're beautiful. Just taking a bit more of Space Queen again, the dark matte that we used and just use that to run around the edges and make sure it's all nice and soft. Then you guessed it. We're gonna take a little bit of the glitter primer on the baby finger, pop that on that inner little corner in there. So just take a mean green again and that is just gonna go on that other part in here. Okay so many steps in this look but we're finally at the end. So now what I'm gonna do is do my inner corners. So again same ideas. We're gonna go in with, have I got a brush? So I'm just using little lip brushes for this. I'm gonna take Gravity OG which is a super bright gold. It looks in the pan very similar to the what's it called granddaddy that I put on the inside in here but it's a lot more gold compared to it when you put them beside you you can see the difference so taking some of that and that's going to go on the inner corner yeah it's just a lot more like yellowy gold where the granddaddy is more antique dirty gold and then I'm going to do blue dream on this side which is the more teal shade I have actually used this what a bit. Again, another little lip brush and just pop that on that inner corner. Okay, so that is the look done so far. So now what I'm going to do is do some liner, lashes, lips. I don't know whether I want to do a wing. I think I might do a little bit of a wing. I think. I'm going to do my cheeks and I'm going to do my lips. Again, I don't know what lip I'm going to do. I might just do a nude lip and see how we get on from there. So I will let you know what I use when I come back. Alrighty guys, so this is how I have finished off my look. I had such a hard time picking this lip because I didn't know what way I wanted to do it like I knew I wanted to go more neutral because I might do dark in my last look I'm not sure but like I had to go through a few different lips to see which one I wanted so I'll tell you now what I used but first to finish off the eyes I did do a winged liner on both sides I used my physician's formula three and one two and one sorry two and one lash boosting eyeliner and serum in the shade ultra black it's just a liquid liner it sounds very fancy i don't know if it is but then for actual waterline liner i use this as my very small old and bashed feline pencil from mac i just use that in my waterline to kind of smoke that up a little bit then my mascara is as it has been my clinique lash power mascara and then for lashes, I was between two pairs of lashes out of this set. I've been loving these recently. These are the Cash Beauty Crystal Nights lashes. It's a whole set of six lashes. I went with Twilight, which are super long and feathery. They're all very feathery, but these are super, super long and I love them. They're like touch right above my eyebrows, which is really fun. But they still don't cover up the makeup. I can still see it. So yeah, I'm really liking it. I was thinking about going for Solstice, which are a little bit more kind of tapered on the outside but nah I went with these these are pretty then onto cheeks for my bronzer I use my MAC mineralized blush in the shade humor me because on me it comes out as a bronzer and I really like it then for cheeks I've been loving these this is the MAC extra dimension blush in the shade look don't touch so I said in my previous look that I used one called room to bloom which is a bit more shiny this is the more satin version this really 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 reminds me of melon pop from Clinique which is one of my favorite blushes of all time and I've been loving the formula. I have a couple of the extra dimension blushes from MAC, but these go on a little bit better. I don't know, I like them. And then for highlight, I went in with my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Flexitarian. and it's super, super metallic. I only popped a little bit on because the blush itself was actually quite glowy already, but I just popped a tiny bit on more just back here. And then for the lip that I ended up picking, I went in with my Bobbi Brown Lip Pencil in the shade Bobbi, which is just a cool toned brown, kind of like stone lip liner from MAC if you have that, that kind of vibe. And then for lipstick, I went in with my MAC Viva Glam 2 lipstick. It's a cool toned nude and mixed with that cool toned lip pencil, I get this beautiful grey nude colour. I love it. Okay guys, so that is our two-toned look for look number two using the Smoke Sessions palette. I'm loving it. I'm feeling myself right now. I think this is so cool and so grudge and I should really do two-toned looks more often. They're just so fun and just like everyone's like, oh, you have two colours on your eyes. Why? And you're like, because why not? Why? Why not? I think like just seeing that you can like 
say you can't decide between two colors put them both on do one look on one eye one look on the other eye and yeah tell me that's not a vibe i love it so that is my look number two using the smoke sessions palette so let's see what we do for look number three okay guys let's get into look number three using the smoke sessions palette we're gonna do a giant wing i am gonna pull in some extra shadows from other palettes i've got just single shadows that i want to use for no apparent reason it's just that i want to help with the look and there is no transition shade in this and I don't want to use any of the mattes in the palette for this look so my skin is on my brows are on and my eyeshadow primer is on and that's all listed down below so you can see what I used so we're just going to get right in no fussing around so just before I start anything the first color that I'm going to pull in this is hey right hey ride from makeup geek I'm just taking it on a 217 because I only really want to use shimmers from this palette and I do want something in the crease to just look like there's a bit of dimension there. So we're just going to pop that through the crease. No fuss. You don't need to be perfect with this. It's just to get a little bit of a contour in the actual crease. I'm not even going down here or anything like that. I'm just bringing it up into the crease. And super soft. I don't want this to be dark at all. It's just to add a little bit of a shape to the eye. Okay, so we're getting straight into the wing now and it's gonna go over my entire lid, big massive wing, and I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown gel liner, just the black one. I have popped a little bit of Dura line into this just to make it nice and soft and creamy because mine is there a while, but Dura line fixes all problems. So taking a little bit of that, this is a MAC 221 brush. It's like a kind of wide brush, but very thin when you turn it like this. And we're just gonna go in to the outer corner and draw my wing as if I was doing a winged liner. Don't go too far straight away, like that's normal for me, so my normal kind of shape. Then I'm going to pop a little bit in the middle here and look up. So I get a bit of transfer. That way then I know it won't transfer once I've actually done the whole look because my, sometimes my lid does transfer into my crease. And once I kind of know how high up I'm going with that, I'll start filling it in first before I mess with the wing too much. And then just lower down than you think you might need. Just start connecting that to the wing out here. And then you can always make it bigger if you need to, but you're best off starting low and then make it bigger. Because if you start high, you can't bring it back down. And obviously this is going to look way different on everyone's eye. It just depends on your own eye shape and your own technique that you prefer it's just whatever feels comfortable to you and it's 99.9999 percent practice and fixing it around so then i have this gap in between these two so now i can just connect them okay so now the hair part i have to do the same on the other side <laughs> okay so you could pretty much pick any shimmer you want to do out of this i definitely want to do mean green because it's like my favorite in the palette so far and I think I want to do Sweet Tooth because I've only been using, I've only used it once in the previous look. And then I might do Granddaddy because that's also my favourite in the palette, I think. So, hmm, am I? I think I am. So weirdly, I'm going to keep my smallest brush for my outer corner. So we're going to go into Mean Green, which is the darker of the shimmers. And we're going to use that. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glitter primer just to go over top and make sure it's nice and tacky so I don't get too much fall down. And also it helps the shimmers just stick in place where I want them. So just taking a small little bit of that on a small little brush and just map that along. So with that same brush, I'm going to go into Mean Green, which is that deepest shimmer. And we're just going to press that all over that area. And it should just stick nicely. So you're just going to cover up that whole section where we applied the glitter primer. Then I'm gonna take another little flat brush. Any little flat brush will do this, just one from V Cosmetics. Take another little bit of glitter primer. So just a small little bit, and that's gonna go on the center third of the eye. And the reason that I'm doing both glitter primer and the black base is because the black base will really bring out all the dimensions of the shimmers, as you can see in this color here. I wanted to see how, how I can get them. And then the glitter primer just helps me not get any fallout and also make sure when I get up to the edges up here I can apply the shades without having to mess around too much because I don't want to disrupt any lines. Then just wipe that same brush off again and I'm actually going to go in to Granddaddy which is the more antique looking gold and I'll use this on the inner part. It'll also almost look like a halo eye on a wing so that'll be cool and then just slightly pat over where the two colors meet and then go back in with your other brush 
and pat over as well just to make sure that we have a nice blend going and in the last shade here i'm going to take a lavender lux from bh cosmetics number nine brush a small little flat brush again i'm going to take another bit of glitter primer same process and that's going to go on this little section in here and the same again wipe it off a little bit and now we're going to go into sweet tooth which is this beautiful teal here i don't even know if this is going to work well but this is what we're going with today oh that's weird Oh, it kind of looks like candy. I don't know why. So again, just overlap a little bit with that shade. Then take the gold shade and we're going to overlap the other way just to get a good blend. It's actually like, it's just a pretty easy look. It's just, you have to keep doing the same thing over and over again. Okay, and then for the lower lash line, all I want to do is take Space Queen, which is the more emeraldy shade here. I'm going to take that on a shading brush from Real Techniques, and we're going to just smudge that along the lower lash line. Don't worry about like connecting it too much out here, because obviously the line is higher up than my lower lash line. So we're just getting to kind of meet each other, but that's fine. So just something super smoky and grungy underneath. Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much the look. I know I look mental because I haven't actually put anything else on. I am going to jump off, I'm going to finish off my face, and I will tell you what I use when I come back. Alrighty guys, so this is how I finish off the look. I had to go for a dark lip. I hadn't done a dark lip in the whole video, so I just had to do one. I felt like I needed it. So I'm gonna go quickly through everything that I used on my face. On my eyes, all I did was pop my feline, feline eye pencil on my waterline. I didn't do any wing because we already have a giant wing going on. And then my mascara is my Clinique Lash Power Mascara. My lashes are the House of Lashes Iconic Minis. I'm trying to remember all the names. Iconic Minis these ones and then for cheeks super simple i went in with my hula bronzer to bronze up my face i know it looks super pale but i am pale and then i use my dandelion blusher just for a little bit of color on the cheeks then as my highlighter i used my mac double gleam highlighter super nice pale champagne shade for us pale gals and then my lip really easy my melt liquid lipstick in the shade toque which is like a super deep dark green and I thought it matched perfectly with that deeper green that's on the outer corner so yeah that's the look okay guys so that is my three looks one palette using the smoke sessions palette from melt cosmetics and I am loving this palette yes I have some issues with it but they're not major issues and not doesn't mean it's a bad palette it just means I would change one or two things out of it that's fine though I'm having a lot of fun with it I'm feeling myself in this look also you might notice my hair is done I know I probably said it in a previous video that's been uploaded pr prior to this but in the beginning of this video I didn't have my hair done so I'm, I'm way paler and way brighter right now if you did like this video and then give me a big thumbs up down below it's the quickest simplest and easiest way to give me a little bit of support get me around to more people and also let me know you like the video also hit subscribe down below to see many more videos I have so many palettes to be playing with and so many more three looks on palettes that I will be doing and I will definitely bust into this palette more as well also my Instagram is linked down below which I said in the beginning but my pictures of this will go live at some point on my instagram so go follow that to find out when you can see the up close details of everything because this is so shiny in real life oh my god and i tried to get my pictures as close to real life as i can also leave me a comment down below let me know what's your favorite look from the video what 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 do you think you vibe with i'm vibing with this i have to say but i really really like the halo eye as well but i always love a halo eye i think i like this though i'm uh, yeah because i don't do this as often so yeah that is it and i will see you in the next video guys